Wait, what's going on everybody and welcome back to Back to the Future. Last time, we got some troubles on our hands, but we're not done yet. We gotta get a hold of a dog, a stray dog, and... Go digging through the trash unless I oh, shut up, Marty. To. You have to go over the freaking plank. I don't wanna go oh, come on. Oh, nope. Through the trash unless I absolutely have to. Oh, we g oh, are you kidding me? What? You have to get in there to get Einstein, you... Freaking moron. Jungle, it's awfully familiar. Fifty years familiar. Maybe I have to Oh, I have to do this again. Okay, hold on. We gotta go and get some free samples and get that freaking Einstein dog out there. Ha. Ah, last thing we gotta do before I freaking don't know what happened. Up ah, there we go. You ran in there once. Now you're doing it again. That's wow. Whoop. That definitely broke the cycle somehow. Hmm. Let's go back there. Yes, paw prints. That's what I want to see. Let's get over there. Thank you. Now, since Einstein has paw marks, we can see where How he's hiding. <laughs> right behind the table. Hey, Einy. How you doing, buddy? Smart you, didn't I? Calm down, Einy. Like I'm a good guy. Let me show you. I have something for you. A little hot dog sample. Look, Einy, I've got a treat for you. Come here, boy. Come here. Boy, now hold still. Let me free you from the muscle. Here you go, boy. See, I'm not good such a bad boy. guy, right? <laughs> Whoa, That's okay. right, good boy. Guess I've won you over. I wish they were all this easy. You already got a hold of Jennifer, you. F <sighs> She's already a girl, my client. What are you talking what about? Is it, boy? <gasps> Do he smell evil? <laughs> Most definitely evil. Einstein, wait. Get her, Einstein. Oh. Get her. Get her good. Bite her. Back. Down. Sit. Play dead. It's not working, Parker. Subdue that beast at once. Einstein, sit. Einstein? Oh, if he bites me, you'll be in a world of trouble, citizen. Mm. Einstein, bite her. Wait. I know that creature. Officer Parker, that's the stray that keeps escaping the kennel. I thought he was muzzled. I took the muzzle off. Oh, yeah. What? That's right. He's my dog now. Citizen, you are in violation of statute 357K. Parker, demerit this hooligan at once. I'll return this creature to the kennel. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. It's Just a second ago, you were scared of it. Beasts. Don't worry, Einy. Once I fix all this, you'll be back with Doc and romp it through time. I'll stay out of trouble. Unless you want a visit from Citizen Brown. Maybe I do, sir. Maybe I do. McFly. Whoa. What's up, Jennifer? How you doing? Hey, Jennifer. Are you still angry with me? Angry? Nah. The threat of being Citizen Plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Great. All right. I gotta go. Jeez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze, dogs, necking in public? It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is gonna Gee. be hard to believe. <laughs> the same guy I've always been. It's Let's do it, Jennifer. Best. And stop calling me Martin. It's Marty. It's Marty. Well, Marty. What's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy gotta do to get in trouble around here? <laughs> uh, I think you're about to find out. Excuse me. Ooh, here, hold up. Not a problem. Are you Martin Seamus McFly? Seamus. <laughs> Ooh. Attention. You've accrued over fifteen thousand demerits in the past twenty-four hours. Cool. Is it young Mr. McFly? Is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character cool? Oh yeah. Not weak. But you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble. Oh my, yes. But don't worry, we're here to take care of you. Like your Citizen Plus program took care of Biff. So, Perhaps this is the part where I don't know what's going to happen. New volunteers. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, let's see what Citizen yeah. Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. Yep. You're taking me to Citizen Brown? Immediately. Fine. Sirs, away with him. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma I'll go around gently. Don't you worry. I always <laughs> knew your goody 
two-shoes A-plus student act was too good to be true. So now we gotta see Doc in the new world, I guess. Mm-hmm. Knock knock, most sacra. Whoa. Hello, monitor. Come in, citizen. Oh, that's Doc. That is definitely Doc. Oh, that picture, though. Winner of the courthouse challenge to form the war. Zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is... Why? What happened to you? Oh, damn it. So close. What happened to you? Jesus Christ, Doc. What happened to you? Doc. Interesting. You regard me as a doctor awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, hmm. I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? Right. Not okay. Yeah, questions. You're the one who needs to turn around. Explain. Who was not supposed to be like you're not supposed to be like this? I'm not supposed to be in this timeline. This what you've turned into, it's all wrong. You're supposed to be a scientist, an inventor. You created the flux capacitor, and, and we went on all these crazy adventures in time, and your hair. You don't look good, Doc. So you, you used to have hair. View is really more about me than you? Yes. You went through all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Most yes. definitely. Cry for help, as it were. Yes! No, wait. Tell me, Mark. Is your mother on the sauce again? Sauce? Uh, no, where I'm from. Leave my, my mother, mother out of this. The issue here. Don't ever forget your mother, Mark. Your parents are your superiors, and respect for one's superiors is absolutely essential to the Hill Valley Order. I'm surprised you're Whoa, you you just glitched out there. He showed himself to be a very obedient and cooperative citizen. Um You mean a war citizen. citizen. He's supposed to be a science fiction writer, not a peeping Tom, and you're supposed to invent a time machine. Time machine? Yeah. Doc, listen to me. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. A DeLorean? Um, uh, dumb question. Just for the hell of it, I guess. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know, but it was important for some reason. Fascinating. Yes, yes, it is fascinating. It's, it's amazing, it's incredible, but you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. You gotta believe me. And this is because... Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine. It's a very practical and dangerous invention. It's kind of is. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. Yes, I, I mean, no. What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it, it made a lot of things better. Uh, like my mom and my dad. It, it was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not, because you summoned me back in time and somehow your timeline got messed up everybody else is along with it i see no you don't think think back don't you remember me we knew each other when you were 18. i'm harry callahan oh yeah incredible this case is more serious than i'd imagined the boy has fabricated an alternate reality what no i haven't I Believe wish it were that wish simple. I had fabricated it. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social condition. Yeah? You don't understand. No, I don't understand. But I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. Hmm. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. Um. um. Take your time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stimulate your. Your memory. Ah, oh, 
You son of a bitch. Get. I have something of yours, don't I? 1931. Carl Sagan escapes. Hill Valley crime rate at all time low. Hmm. The notebook. Check this out, Doc. It's all your notes about the flux capacitor. Your greatest invention. That can't be my notebook. The handwriting is far too sloppy. What? Ugh. Oh, Jesus. Okay, take a look at this picture of Einstein here. That's the your dog. Harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offense. Yeah, yeah, they told me. But you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. I do. I, I do recall something of the sort, but naturally it could not be the same dog. Well, there's it anything natural is. about it. Einstein's a time traveler, too, thanks to your invention. That time machine. Impressively detailed illusion. Keep talking. Hmm. Can I show him the picture of my freaking dad, maybe? The clock? Something about that clock looks familiar. The courthouse, damn it. It was struck by lightning. Um, what about the Carl Sagan escapes paper? Remember this. Carl Sagan escapes. June 13th, 1931. Yes, I remember the incident back when crime went unchecked in Hill Valley. I'm the one who rescued him, and I did it with the help of your first invention. The rocket, rocket power, power drill. drill. The <laughs> rocket power drill? Yes. Never worked. Failed a misguided contraption with a tendency to explode. I, uh, bizarre fantasy money. Go on. You see. Maybe another newspaper might help from even further back in time. The newspaper of... 1986. No, that won't work. Hmm. Picture of George, maybe? Does that work? See, this is my father back when he was a teenager. With your time machine, I went back to 1955 and helped him stand up to Biff. Interesting. Of course, Mr. Tannen spent most of 1955 in our juvenile rehabilitation facility, learning to control his anger. He did? No wonder my dad's still so lame. Yes. Hmm. I need a hint for this. There's a stuff in the office that would simply help you to continue. Some of the link to the past might not be obvious, but there's some there around Sir Sprout's desk. I spy with my little blue eye, young Emmett and his father, a fish tank. I'm past a movie ticket, a muck shot of Einstein in your case. Okay. So there's something here around here. Yes. That's what Judge Brown looked like. I never actually saw him. That's your father. He died before you were born. He was my biggest support after my wife, of course. Right. A switch. Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become exactly. an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? Stop trying to confuse me. I'm not trying. My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. You look it up. You know better, right? Emmett? Emmett? Brown. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kintan. A scourge from Hill Valley. Uh, I'm pretty sure you didn't. Incidentally, the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland, my scientific muse of a love of my life. Take a look. What you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. That's not what I see. What do you see? Oh, you don't. Oh. This is a really weird freezing frame. What? What do I see? I can't. I don't have any. Uh, oh wow. Do we have some? Oh, right. Ah, I see. Me and I. Uh, me and Doc back there. Don't you see it? It's us. I think it is. What? Both it's of me us. And you, the other you. How you look in our timeline? Don't you it see? Is me. And you. But how? Time travel. Harry. Callahan. 
It's impossible. No, it's science. You're the itch. Other <laughs> world. What do you say you come from? Am I? Am I happy there? More than Very happy. happy. You've got two great sons. Sons. Yes, and a fantastic wife. Not Edna. Not even remotely. And your invention. Jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to, anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley? You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! It's there true. Are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Have you You're heard great. the tapes? You don't really believe. My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they were afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Edna have got them all terrorized. That's Mrs. Brown to you, Sonny. Doc, kindly address me as your honor. Have you even seen the tapes that freaking George sent you? Every waking moment devoted to Ridley Hill Valley of Vice and Disorder. You dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? You and Edna. Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. All right then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. Very well. So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Very well. I'm gonna Fine. get a hold of something with, with proof. proof. <laughs> Edna, I don't like you, Strickland. You Strickland people always make messes. Gotta get a hold of George. Please be there. Edna's gotta. She, she's done something. She's definitely done something. Burned it down or something. Yeah, Edna's been here. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Sit here. Guess I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? <laughs> Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidents of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually ah. Who did it? Can you tell me? Look at the freaking monitor. Happening. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. So that the baseball bat maybe. Dad, that's not one of our bats, is it? No. No. McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Oh, wait, yeah. don't touch it. It's evidence. Of what? Of a crime. Oh, why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice Sector L citizen like me? What's why would you not notice you it, you idiot? I was sitting right here, copying another incriminating scene onto my... My tapes. My tapes? What happened to my tapes? She they took come, them. Dad. Are they on the floor? Do you see them? They're in a box marked raw footage. Yeah, the box is right in front of you and it's empty. Right there. That's a box. They're not around here. I can guarantee you that. Anywhere around here? No. In the trash, maybe? Nope. Not around here. So, Edna's definitely been here. Found my tape yet? I'm telling no you, Dad, it was taken by whoever bashed you with that bat. No, it's got to be here. Keep searching. There's nothing here, damn it. They whacked you with the bat and took the damn thing. Look at the monitors, they're broken. It's not working. It's not working. Anything working? It's not working. The box there, no? Okay, Marty, you said that four times now. God damn it. VCR? The monitor's dead. Oh, son of a biscuit. Hmm. What's that tape case? Here it is. Raw footage. Thank heavens. And it's empty. Wait a minute. You 
See, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers went all the time. It was just empty. What? There's no tapes. But I'm all sure gone. they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head and took him. Oh my gosh, I've been mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley. They can't get away with it. Oh. Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. I'll Ooh. get the Who could have bad guy. Oh, Edna. Who wouldn't want Doc to get the straight dope on Hill Valley? Edna. Edna. Are you saying I was mugged by the mayor's elderly wife? Yes, um, sir. Not exactly. No. Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad. We can't just give up. Let's start grilling people. Let's go to the police. Let's I mean, look for maybe more, there's clues. Some more clues. around here. What's the use? Even if we find out who took the tapes, we're not going to be able to get them back without attracting attention to ourselves. Mm -hmm. There's got to be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months? No six months. But way. I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. What I mean is... I'd hate for you to lose all that work. I'm just worried about you. Justice Shaw must prevail. I gotta give it to Citizen Brown. I told him I was gonna furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. When I was in his office. Just before I came here. You had an interview with Citizen Brown? Oh yeah. It wasn't easy to get, believe me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been breaking rules? Harboring yeah. straight dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. It's true. You forget I'm your father. I know your history. Yeah, well, history's changed. Prove it. Very well. Um... Stucco determines. Read him and weep. The merits, but... It's the only way. I don't understand. Dad. Listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know that things aren't right here. Citizen Brown might have started with good intentions, but his Hill Valley's just made everybody miserable. Shh. You said that to him? Basically, yeah. Oh, there go our privileges. No, wait. I, I got him to listen, Dad, and he's gonna make things right for you and Mom and all of us. I, I can't explain how. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. Okay... First, I have to show him your tapes to prove my point. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Dad. This scheme of yours. Maybe you know what you're doing. I can't say. But leave me out of Dad. it. I don't like trouble. I can't handle it. It's not in my genes. But... Do it for your freaking family. Your family. I am. And I don't want to see my family relocated to Sector X with all the other hopeless cases. Do it for Do Arthur. It for your father. My father? Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. Didn't he have something to do with putting away Kid Tan and, you know, way back when? Yes. Yes, he did. Where do you hear about that? It was way back before Citizen Brown cleaned up the town, before I was even born. Everyone lived in terror of Kid Tan and his goons. But Dad stood up to him. He had evidence of Kid's guilt, see, and he risked his life to deliver it to the authorities. Never be afraid to do the right thing. That's what he always used to tell me. Now, what are you doing? Trying to remember which is the right feed. Feed to what? To the surveillance camera, the one in the yard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera trained on yourself? Of course. You gotta cover all bases. Help me figure out which That chair is on. really acting out. Would look like that one. Yep, definitely that one. That doesn't look right. It's gotta be the smashed one. Son of a biscuit. Hmm. That's the soup mo. That it? You're looking for the one that's trained on us. There is none. Oh crap. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Oh, wait, uh, never mind. It's Dead, George. What I gotta do? 
Each monitor is blah, 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 blah. Having trouble spelling the feet? Try the lower left monitor. The lower left. Can I? Oh. Duh. There's a switch to change the feet right Hello? there. Look! It's right there, dude. Let me get this straight. You captured this whole attack on tape? Of course. Surveillance is what I do. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Come on, son. Stop dawdling and help me track down that feed. Stop it's the right switches. there. Damn it. Right there. Hello? Hello? George? Right there. Are you even look up uh, that's the one I want to press, I think. There, that looks like us. So the surveillance Jesus. must be on this VCR. This must be before the attack. Let's see. I remember cleaning the playback heads at 5:30. The attack couldn't have been very long after. Oh, it's Dead. Biff. But it can't be him. The Citizens Plus program has rendered him as gentle as a kitten. Huh? huh? That was weak. I can't understand it. That's not the way he's supposed to behave. Why, even the old Biff would wait, never... Wait, what's that weird flashing on his wrist? Let's find out. I knew this zoom and enhance feature would come in handy someday. It cost me a bundle at the hobby shop. Enhance? It's a digital watch. I wonder why it's doing that. Hey, wait, wait, stop the picture. Can you zoom in anymore? Enhance! X11. Do you know what that means? Not yet. I'm about to. Lorraine, don't lay into me, George. I've got something very important to say, and then I'm going to be leaving again. I've got something important to say, too. I was attacked it's and robbed. It's always about you, isn't it? You can't just wait and listen to my news. Oh, no. You have to go and beat me to the punch. Pull yourself together. That's right. You Jesus. two sort things out. I've got some business to attend to. Oh, yeah. Gotta freaking find out now. But first, let's talk to Biff. Hey, Biff. Biff. Got something Whoa, to say to you. There, fella. You beat up my dad. Do we have a problem here, citizens? No, no, officer. Just a little misunderstanding. I'm sure we could work it out. Right, Martin? Sure. Oh. Okay. Let me know if you need any help, Mr. Tannen. Now let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah, let's. Before we do that, I gotta end the video. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you guys around next time. We'll get to play some more Back to the Future Episode 3. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.